Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in this DCS F16C Viper video, we have an update on the data link for the Viper. Now, as most of you probably know, for uh, F-16s to exchange data over the data link, uh, all four aircraft have to reside in the same airplane group as defined in the mission editor. Now, where we're going is we're gonna move that to a definition based on the source track number or an STN. And that's a five digit code. So the really cool thing about this is with a Viper, you're gonna have up to eight team members, which would be F-16s, and up to four donors, which could be 16s, 18s, and so on. And what's really nice is that in addition to the four aircraft within your airplane group, you could have F-16s in any other groups as well. And what's really great about this, when you're actually in the mission, you can dynamically alter you know, who's a team member, who's a donor, and who's outside of the network entirely. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at this in the mission editor. All right, so we can see we have uh, four flights, and each flight is a four-ship. Uh, my flight here in the center is a four-ship of Vipers, which of course is called Viper. Uh, to the north of us, we have a four-ship of Vipers again, which is Lobo. At the north end of the field is a four-ship of F-18s named Sting. And at the very south side of the field, we have another four-ship of Vipers, which is Jedi. Let's go back to my aircraft. Uh, the top section of the airplane group window is pretty standard. It's coming to the bottom part where we have some changes. Uh, first is the uh, tab for uh, aircraft additional properties. And along the bottom, we have a new section called data link. We have the voice call sign label, which generally I like this to be the call sign, which, which is the first and last letter, in this case, Viper, so VR and then the number, just to make sure that these two match the uh, call sign up here. And then most importantly, then we have the STN or source track number. And this needs to be an octal uh, digits zero through seven. In this case, uh, I have 00201 for myself. Two is 202, three is 203. And I bet you know what uh, aircraft four is. Coming back out, let's take a look at Lobo flight. And very similar. So L011, uh, 301 is the first STN, 302, 303, and of course 304. And you can uh, decide how you want to assign these STNs as you wish. Uh, just best to try to make it as logical as possible so you can uh, track your changes. On uh, the north side of the field, of course, again, we have Sting. So ST11401, 402, and so on. And then pretty much the same thing on the south side of the field with Jedi Flight. So coming back to me, the next big thing to take a look at is the new tab called Data Links. And this is dominated by uh, two different fields. First are the team members, which are going to be up to eight of them. And at the bottom is going to be the donor list, which will be four of them. So with a, uh, mem uh, the team list, we have our member ID, which is the number you'll see like on the HSD. Then we have a uh, checkbox to indicate whether or not it's gonna be part of a TDOA um, HTS team, which is gonna be the subject of the next video. Then we have the pilot name, which we defined earlier, the call sign, which we defined earlier, and then of course the STN. Again, try to make sure each one of these is unique. And then the donor list is pretty much the same minus the TDOA uh, checkmark. So for giggles, let's go ahead and clear all these out and we'll reassign these. Okay, so with my team, it's only me uh, on the list right now. Now I can assign a group, here are the groups here, or I can assign as individual units. In this case, let's go uh, add Viper so I can flesh out my flight and let's add Lobo flight as well. So now I have uh, all eight members of my team defined. And the same thing with the donors. I can go to a group or individual units. So I could add Sting or Jedi. Let's add Sting, which is an F-18 flight. Hit add, and now Sting flight is added to my donor list. Okay, the next big step is, uh, let's take a look at how we can modify these in the cockpit. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, HSD first. And we can see that we have our Viper flight all bunched around us, a bit hard to read. 
to our eight o'clock, we have the uh, second element of our team, which are member IDs five through eight, which you can see here. And then about at our two o'clock is a sting flight, those F-18s, which are donors, indicated by the, uh, the green uh, symbols. Now it's important to remember that we're going to be able to modify our team members, but you cannot modify donors in flight. You can only set up your donors uh, pre-mission. So let's take a look at the uh, team list. We're going to go to list, then enter, dauber twice to the right. And here we can see our eight members now, one through eight, each with their STNs. Now, let's say I wanted to move uh, number four in that F-18 flight to uh, team member number eight. It's pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to highlight uh, the four ship on Lobo flight 0304, uh, and then we're going to replace that with 0404, which is an F-18 flight. So we're going to dauber down until we highlight 304 there. Now we just type it in 00404 and then we enter and now what you see is now uh, number four ship on the Sting flight is a member for us and Lobo flight number four is now a donor. Simple as that. And again, you cannot modify donors uh, in flight. You can only do that pre-flight. But you can see uh, with members, it's a very powerful system. And if you know the STNs of the uh, other aircraft in the mission, you can really customize it to uh, meet your needs during the mission. Anyhow, folks, I uh, very much hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.